Hello my beautiful earth angels, welcome back to another collective reading. We're going to be seeing what message you need to hear the most right now. So I have the Book of Shadows tarot deck that we're going to be pulling from and then I'm going to be pulling uh, a friendly foodie. These are just little food cards I've drawn with little meanings um, to get more information and maybe another card, we'll see. So starting off with friendly foodie. <laughs> Let's see what we get. What what do you need to hear the most right now? Wow, the fixer. This is really a beautiful card. This is about you being this empathic, this light worker person, like you're always wanting to fix things and you're really good at fixing things because you're a good problem solver because you are a a creative and quick thinker you are resourceful and this is like emotionally uh the way that you give advice and the way that you help people through situations the way that you alchemize and transmute energy you know you guys but also i see this as like things being on the mend whether that be, I don't know, I'm just hearing like with the fixer, like something's on the mend, maybe you're on the mend <laughs> from something or maybe a, um, a certain passion or uh, a routine is back on the mend or a relationship. But I see this as a really positive, positive card. Let's see what other cards we get out with this fixer. Okay, we had the King of Swords reversed. Oh. Someone could be, yeah, it's like someone could have wanted to fix something with you guys. Or you decided to, it's like you took judgment on something. We have judgment, we have the King of Swords reversed. And we have the Ten of Wands reversed. It really just feels like you've dropped any weights. Like you've, you're just dropping weights that um, are making you feel weighed down. Like certain responsibilities you don't want to do anymore. It feels like you're really taking control and charge of your frame, your routine, your life. You know. Um, yeah. And uh, this could also be like something that is unfinished or you're waiting to finish something uh that's gonna be that's like a side message you guys if you've been waiting to finish something it's like that's gonna be getting done this could be yeah spirit saying to hold your vision this could be a creative project this could be a manifestation that maybe you took a pause maybe it's because of this situation maybe there's like things that were going on yeah there's like divine timing karmic cycles that were being closed out maybe there was like a certain manifestation or a goal or a you know a project or something that you wanted to get done but then it's like something in another area of your life happened with this king of swords reversed it just feels like um maybe you feel like quite a lot of things started happening all at once um you know in the past it feels like things are starting to rebalance out um but with the fixer here, yeah, it just, things are starting to balance out and simmer down and the energy is starting to simmer down after a period of time where you are either having issues with a certain person or um, it, even if you're not in contact with them, maybe it's that you could feel them on your energy, you guys. Yeah, because you guys are very empathic. So maybe it's that you could feel someone on your energy or there was someone that maybe, you know, wasn't actually... Wow, yeah, definitely the High Priestess and the Ten of Cups reversed. Maybe there was somebody, uh, this could be family member. This could be a friend or a relationship that uh, maybe you're not really speaking to that much. But in the background, it's like they were projecting you energy, you guys. Um, and maybe this is like, this can go two ways. There's two timelines, you know, because with the fixer, it's like, somebody that maybe you've had conflict with maybe they were speaking about you you've been picking up energy or maybe um you know there's like secrets coming to light or just something going on on the outside of you that you've been picking up on or 
uh, somebody that you've been picking up or maybe you've been having dreams of them or just you have the high priestess here. So this is all about intuition. This is about your connectedness to energy, the way that you can tap into energy. You kind of just sense things, you know things, you can feel things, you have this gut instinct um, that just pulls your intuition to certain ways when it comes to taking judgments on certain people, but also on, you know, judging a situation and where it's at as well. I feel like maybe you've been picking up on someone's energy that's like, you're thinking maybe they want to fix things. Yeah, like I said, this could be a family member. This is this person who this is. Um, but maybe you've just been picking them up because they've been, you know, projecting energy towards you, you know, through conversations. Maybe they're speaking about you. It doesn't have to be bad. doesn't have to be good. It could just be about a situation that you were in together or something that happened. This could have been involving other people or this could have been involving a family or some kind of group. And also, um, I feel like... Um, you know, life just got busier as well for you in some kind of way. Yeah, with the Four of Pentacles reversed, it's like there's something about feeling quite tied down. With the Four of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Wands reversed, this to me is like, you guys, I feel like things got really busy at a certain point in time or things happened all at once in maybe different areas of your life. This could have been you know, this could have been like four months back to the four weeks back or the past four weeks. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of energy that you guys have been picking up on just from around you in general, let alone having to cleanse and deal with your own energy and your own stuff going on. Because, you know, um, there could be like a lot going on with your work or you felt like you have a lot of responsibilities, but then there's also these other things going on in other situations. Anyway, regardless, yeah, two of pentacles, it's like you're juggling things, you're staying up late or, um, I, I, yeah, sorry, circling back around, back to this other energy. Uh, we won't spend too much time on it because I'm not sure, you know, they're coming up as the King of Swords reverse. So I don't think it's somebody that um, really left the best impression or like you really have the best connection with right now because you know the king of swords reversed is very it's just um yeah um it's not really a celebrative type of energy when you guys are with this person like maybe things happen between you very cold they're very closed off they could be an air sign they don't have to be but um it's just something about you know this person being very in that masculine energy uh very you know shut off or uh, it's like they don't want you to explain things to them. There's somebody that doesn't really want to take your advice or they didn't used to want to take your advice. Do you know what I mean? They're very closed off. I'm starting to heat up now. It's kind of, wow, so it's kind of getting a bit heated. Um, yeah, so you could be picking up on an energy. So let's kind of clear that. But just so you guys know that's coming through because this could have been affecting your sleep. Um, or, you know, sometimes things happen and we don't know what they're tied to. Like this could have been draining your energy um, in a way, but without kind of realizing you know it's never nothing you're protected you guys it's nothing bad it's nothing ever bad it's just like if somebody is thinking about you you are so intuitive with the high priestess here you are gonna feel it you are gonna pick it up you know and on top of that you've been dealing with you know your own cycles your own work your own responsibilities you know your own families or uh your own you know, your judgment's been, you've been going through an energetic shift as well. So it's like you've been integrating new energy on top of all of that spiritually, you know, maybe that's why as well, like your dreams have started changing or they've, your like intuition is heightening and that's why you're picking up more new energies as well. Um, and yeah, you've been alchemizing a lot, transmuting a lot. And I just feel like, um, yeah, sometimes these people can kind of drain our energy just by thinking of you. It doesn't have to be necessarily uh, bad or good. Obviously, you'll know the situation. I mean, I don't think you have the best view. But anyway, yeah, it's kind of like because there's a, a cord still attached. It's like an unclosed... Um, there's like not closure on a set or like a certain situation left maybe on bad terms or unfinished or just kind of like... Um, you know, up in the air in some kind of way. And now it's like, there's like a lot of distance maybe between you guys, like physically or emotionally or both. Um, and there's something about, 
like getting seeing a picture of them or seeing a picture of you or hearing something about you or something um this could be to do with your work or something that you're creating i see you guys just don't i don't think you're even really aware of this because the thing is is like i don't know it's just <laughs> the thing is this is where the message is about to switch up you guys this is seriously where the message is about to switch up because we have the eight of pentacles here we have the six of wands here and we also have the five of swords okay the thing is some of you i don't think you really know this could be someone way in the past like you this could be someone that you don't even really think to think of you know maybe you're not aware or maybe for some of you you've watched that and was like yeah i do know who that is you know either way i feel like it's something that you're not really paying much attention to at all or you haven't noticed or you're not maybe you just yeah you were just maybe couldn't work out where you kept picking up a weird energy or something but it's it's because of that because you guys i see you're very focused on your own passions your own goals your creative pursuits uh your work whatever this is for you your day-to-day -day life you're focused on look climbing to the top um or persevering through or like um breaking your own cycles like you're really focused on self you're focused on your own journey spiritual physical uh, material like you're you're somebody who puts work into yourself and you're somebody who has big goals and has big dreams and you're not afraid to chase them and climb them and and go towards them you're not afraid to uh you know follow those passions and uh even if you feel knocked down for a little bit it doesn't really matter because you know at some point you always rise back up look it doesn't matter you're still on the mountain you always manage to catch a bit you know even if you feel like you get knocked back you just get knocked back to climb back up to see a point where you couldn't see before um and you know you gather maybe new inspiration and then you start climbing up in a different way and you're like you know what this way is better anyway anyway i don't know you guys but <laughs> but seriously you've been really focused on yourself this is all about success this is about leadership this is about inspiration that like you inspiring others uh you don't you some of you maybe you inspire others through a platform as well but maybe some of you this is just like friends and family or the people that see your work because some of you you do do creative work maybe it's music maybe it's pottery maybe it's painting maybe it's dancing maybe it's uh writing maybe it's you know you name it you guys but i feel like you guys you're actually multi-talented so you could be creative in many different areas even if you haven't really explored some of those areas yet it's like you get inspiration you have ideas that you're envisioning for the future even if you get a bit held back at points and stuff you're still just hold your vision you guys because you are getting there and there's something you're nearly uh, at the top at of and um maybe you know this maybe not maybe this is like an unexpected level up this could be in work this could be in uh you getting new inspiration a new idea like a rerouting of a passion that's going to be very successful but with the five of swords here i really just feel like um you know there's always going to be people projecting bad energy there's always going to be people jealous of something or other covered up with you know ego like they just don't admit it, you know what i mean there's always going to be people with big egos there's always going to be people dealing with their own pain and suffering and and that's why i think it labeled as an ego is you know like we'll say like oh you know there's always going to be people hating there's always going to be people talking or you know wishing bad there's always going to be the opposite too there's always going to be people who are securing themselves enough that they can cheer on with you you know um that aren't you know sore losers but there's the you know there's there's both but you guys, you have both in your life um, <laughs> projected at you because you are somebody who's so self-focused. And um, because of this, you know, certain choices that you make don't benefit everybody. There are people that you had to cut out. There are people that you distance yourself from, uh, especially like toxic people or people who are draining your energy. This could have been this king of swords, this family member, this friend, this relationship, this past person, you know, that you took judgment on or spirit actually took judgment on as well because it's like yeah they were just like kind of things being hidden you know whether that was like malicious or not malicious or if it was just like hidden feelings or if it was actually gossip or whatever there was somebody and it's like you don't need that on top of everything else you're somebody who makes the right choices for you that honor yourself and in the process uh there are going to be people who you know 
leave your life on good times, leave your life on bad times. Either way, you are somebody who people remember, but that is because you're not, you don't let anything get in the way of what you are trying to create for yourself and envision for yourself and, you know, where you want to, to get to and to be, you know, like you have been through enough and, and, you know, uh, this could be through family or connections in general or relationships like you've been through a lot and that's why you're so perseverant and determined and um you know a lot of you you channel actually a lot of your pain into beauty or your experiences into beauty or advice or guidance or uh, art or music or you do things to transmute um and actually yeah it's like even when you get knocked down you come back even stronger you're like a phoenix that rises from the flames but there is somebody projecting energy but it's probably because of that because you're so focused on yourself um and you know some people um the choices that you make when it comes to your self progress and what's best for you and creating that happiness for you because you know there's only so much like responsibility there's only so much we can take um before we have to let go of some of those attachments and you know this is regardless of this person this person could be somewhere way in the past you know this doesn't it doesn't even really matter this could be a group of people i feel like there's a couple of different energies because you know when you're someone like yourself look here your energy is very magnetic because you're so focused on your own journey on your own passions on your own life that um some people they are kind of triggered by that you know because your energy is so in yourself um naturally you become very magnetic but it also becomes triggering because you're so yeah okay so because you feed into things that bring you joy you know no matter what's going on it's like you you have this light inside of you this spark and you have so much potential and you're so creative you guys um you know no matter what way that is this it's even in the way that you're thinking you're imagining like you imagine more for yourself not many people can even do that you know guys and you do and um yeah this this sorry <laughs> i lost my loop then but yeah this will just have people triggered sometimes because your energy is high vibrational and that brings the shadows up to the surface so a lot of the time it's not even personal it's just that you are a healer you guys you're a light worker so your aura and your energy in general when people think about you when people are around you um that energy to be around what it's like think about all the shadows within everybody because like everybody has their own shadows you do i do like we all do but when you are a healer it's like you bring these shadows up and reflect them back for people um and it's sometimes <clears throat> well yeah so this can be to do with communication as well it's like yeah sometimes this can be taken in a way that it feels quite personal but it's like you know you may think like why why do certain things happen to you or certain things and really honestly you guys it's because of your high vibrational energy um at your core frequency obviously our vibrations always changing we're never always happy and we're never always bad but your core frequency is very light because you've transmuted a lot of energy and that adds to your core frequency every time that you've healed every time that you've risen back up you've added a big chunk of energy to your vibration yeah, you've added a big chunk of energy to your vibration and that always stays with you so because you've done this so many times you've been through so many transformations you've fallen and had to get back up um you know or like just with connections or the way people have treated you like you've really become very resilient and this really stays in your core vibration you guys um but like I said, this can bring up the shadows from people, but in a way that if they never got brought up, they would never be released. And that's subconscious energy that it's kind of like acts as anchors. So when you walk around, it's like you've just doing you, you just living your life, you just being with your family, you just being creative, you just, um, you know, literally doing you. Um, this can trigger people in two ways. You inspire people, but also some people, you know, Maybe, I don't know, it's just like a bit of bitterness or, I don't know, un this unfinished cycle from the past with that person. But, you know, in general, in general, you guys, we're going to pull another friendly foodie for you. Yeah, wow, we got the free thinker. 
wow you can't read that because it's reversed but it says the free thinker the ice cream this is so cool this reminds me of like kind of psychedelic -y type of vibes like because it looks a bit like a mushroom this could be like you're into plant healing plant medicine um or natural remedies or just energy healing in general you guys but what like it says it's your your you are the free thinkers you guys you are the free spirits you are the dreamers the creators the imaginers you are the black sheep you are the people who are going to create such new beautiful things in this world this lifetime through your mind you see the world differently to others because you're a free thinker you're not afraid to question why you're not afraid to be yourself you're not afraid to be authentic and also you have such a deep connect connection with all people and animals and things and love because you feel things very deeply and you always have and maybe when you were quite young or like in your childhood or something maybe you're a bit more shy or sensitive and it's like your free thinking has just come out more as you've got older because you just really embrace that and you just really send out such a positive energy to everybody and wow okay so we have abundance actions speak louder than words you walk the walk and talk the talk you guys you are somebody who the advice you give is the way that you live your life you know you practice what you preach you align yourself with your actions uh with you know how you you believe you want to live or how you believe you should live you know and also the people see you as a very abundant person whether that's abundant in knowledge whether that's abundant they see you as an abundant person i really hate the word humble because i don't i don't really think you know it's okay to like, I just don't really like the word home because it's like, it's okay to be hyped about yourself. It's, a, it's okay to be uh, self-loving and uh, you shouldn't ever like knock yourself down. But in the same way, I feel like you guys don't really care about a lot of the things other people care about. And in a way, this makes your soul very free and people energetically sense this and this sense of freedom gives your soul a sense of abundance and people see that as an abundance your energy feels abundant because it's abundant in freeness yeah because you just don't care yeah that's why i said humble because i didn't know how to explain that energy because it's like um this kind of kind of reminds me of like she's this big decorated fancy cake but she's like shy and she just thinks, well, I'm just me. Do you know what I mean? I'm nothing special, you know, or you know, you know, you you guys are special, but it's like you just see everyone as equals, you know, and you're just a really kind, generous person. And wow, this is channeled. This is just you, you guys. Um, Why is this coming through? Well, 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 well something to do with what you're manifesting the magician right here i think this is a big reminder and hype up for you that you are especially if you feel like you've been i just heard at your wits end <laughs> with your work or maybe responsibilities or things have been chaotic it's like you know or maybe a certain situation or just just the energies you guys maybe it's just little things on the day to day you know or just like tiredness or maybe some of you have been unwell and maybe it's like nothing to do with your outside but you just energetically feel drained like we were saying earlier you could just energetically feel drained there's a lot of people um attached to your energy because look you're the magician you're literally manifesting your dream life step by step even when you don't feel like it step by step there's something that you're creating right now or will be creating um and it's like piece by piece that will be put together you know all in one go um it feels like whoa but like you guys are gonna get there and you're gonna be very abundant as well people always sense your potential in you as well it's like you just hold it within your soul you just have such a life a life within you um yeah the way you think and everything just spirit saying don't give up hope do not give up hope because you guys you really are the magicians of your own life and it's led you to this point now and you still have a whole journey in front of you and that can feel tiresome sometimes especially when we just feel kind of a bit uncertain of where we're going or if things are really going to manifest or work out but spirit saying it will because you know what look at this beautiful energy that you're putting out and embodying into the world even if you're not like necessarily putting it out like you existing is putting out that energy like even internally even if you don't see anybody you know or 
you know, when you do, it's like you give off such a free spirited energy, a light hearted energy, you're a light worker, you're a healer. Um, yeah, you bring just such a warm energy to everybody. But even if you're not around people, you in your mind project out such a beautiful energy, even when, you know, you're feeling down, it's not a bad thing, you know. Um, but even when you're doing that, like I say, your core frequency is so important and it's all the transmutation you've done in your whole journey so far. And in a way, it's like spirit saying you will attract all of that because you put out this energy and because of the energy you've created so far, you're only going to do that and more, you guys. Like you, you shift very quickly on an internal level. And even if you don't feel like everyone on the outside can see that it's like mentally you know like you guys you're always making progress you're always loading you're always culminating um and it's just waiting to come out in it from from within you know what i mean maybe some of you it's like there's things that you're going to create that you have been thinking about or that are pending like budding blossoms you know they're waiting to bloom so just keep doing you Keep doing you, keep setting your boundaries, yeah, setting your boundaries, could be with that person earlier, you're like, oh my god, setting boundaries, going to just carry on painting or just carry on doing you, literally, yeah, you're creative souls, there's something about collaborations, work, uh, new inspirations, you embracing your creative side more, or you, um, you know, doing some fun things, just maybe like looking yourself up and just focusing on you or focusing it's like you're very involved or invested in your own world or maybe there's something that's going to be really taking a lot of your attention um but yeah i see things yeah justice reverse maybe you feel like just a bit tighter at the minute but that's okay we've got the king of cups here as well it's like things are going to be feeling really stable again emotionally as well because i feel like there was people just projecting energy or uh, someone latched on for some reason maybe it's like you came up on their radar and you know you guys um you are the king of cups so i just feel like you are very or the queen of pentacles as well yeah you're gonna be very successful this lifetime very abundant because you have all facets all side to yourself you have your divine feminine your divine masculine you're creative and you are creative thinkers you can imagine you can dream for your more for yourself but you also have the action to put into that and you also have the kindness in your heart to do things right and and do things with the good intention and for pure intention and that's why you're going to be abundant because you do things with a pure intention you do the work you do or the passions you do just because you want to do it or because you think that they're fun or maybe some of you do it because you want to connect with other people maybe this is like friends or kids or family you know or maybe it's like you like to help people and that's why you do it whatever you do you do it from a really pure beautiful intention you know not just to do this or do that and that's why it grows abundant because your intention is what grows anyways you guys i love you all so much and i will speak to you again in the next reading Mwah.